I was born in uh, 1979 in Kericho, Spesukadi Londiani, to a policeman and a policewoman. And later they moved and we settled in uh, Transoya County in a place called Sikhendu, where I largely grew up in that area. Members and chairs, you are aware, policemen and policewomen in this country are people who are moved from one station to another. So my parents were being moved from one station to another to work. And it's that time that I was taken up by my maternal uncle, who I lived with during my primary education which I finished at a school called Baraton Primary School. It is in Kimenini constituency in Transoya County in 1992. And I'm happy to tell honorable members that in the KCP exams of 1992, I was the best student in then Transoya district. After that, I joined Mary Hill Girls High School, a national school in Thika, where I did my secondary school education. While at Mary Hill, I was engaged in several, uh, several leadership positions, one of them chair of journalism, and then I thought that I would end up in uh, media. And uh, after Mary Hill, immediately after, uh, I got a call from KCB Bank to join them and work for them. And it was basically because I was very good in volleyball, so they were recruiting for their team. And my mom was like, who does volleyball for a living? So I did not join uh, the commercial bank. So then I moved to MTC, Kenya Medical Training College, where I trained as a pharmaceutical technologist and graduated in 2000. Just to let members know that while at MTC, my parents, a police man and police woman, could not afford much. So from the second year of MTC, I did odd jobs to pay my school fees. After MTC, I managed to get a job in uh, one of the pharmaceutical retail pharmacies in this country where I worked for a period of time. During that time, I was also doing a degree in pharmacy, online degree from EG University in Turkey, where I completed. However, I did not get registered as a pharmacist because of the difference in legislation, the difference in the number of years covered in Turkey and covered in Kenya. But after that, while working, I proceeded to do a degree in uh, procurement and supplies from Jomo Kenyatta University. And by the time I was doing that degree, I was working at Mission for Essential Drugs and Supplies. Chair and members, I stopped working in the pharmacy my last stage as a pharmaceutical technologist was in charge of AAR Healthcare in Kisumu County. So when I joined MEDS, I started as a junior operations officer. But while working as an operation officer, one of my responsibilities was to consolidate orders and send medical supplies to faith-based hospitals in this country. I then realized that there was a gap that any time I was fulfilling orders from these faith-based uh, hospitals, we could not fulfill them at 100%. And at that note, I told my supervisor that I think we have a problem in procurement. And I volunteered myself to work in procurement at MEDS. When I volunteered to work in procurement, that is when now I enrolled again for my master's degree while working there. And I ran through the ranks in procurement as an officer. Up to the time that I was leaving MEDS, I left as the procurement manager and as you are well aware, Mission for Essential Drugs and Supply is the second biggest, largest medical supply chain organization in this country that is run in a way that I could say very efficiently. So I worked at Mission for Essential Drugs for a good seven years. Chair, I left in good terms when I had just finished my master's. And uh, for the member's sake, I briefly interned at KEMSA during my master's level for a period of three months. After that chair, I joined the Nairobi Women Hospital, where I was in charge of procurement. Chair and members at Nairobi Women Hospital, I was in charge of end-to-end -end supply chain. What I mean by end-to-end -end is that I was in charge of the tomatoes that cooked the patient meals. I was in charge of the linen that was spread on patient beds. 
I was in charge of the equipment that what is used in theater. And what many people don't like to hear, that I was in charge to ensure even the equipment in the mortuary worked while at meds. Honorable Chair and members, I left meds in 2016 to run for an elective seat in Transoya County, women rep. At that point, my party did not give me a ticket, so I dropped out at the nominations level. And uh, I came back, and in 2017, I got another job with the Global Programs for Research, which is an affiliate of University of California, San Francisco, as their head of supply chain, and that is where I have worked to date. I took leave to also run for women rep in 2022. This time, I was lucky I got the party ticket and went all the way into the elections. I didn't make it, and so I returned back to work after my leave. I'm still an employee of Global Programs for research. Chair, I have uh, been appointed on the Council of the Kitale National Polytechnic, which I joined in 2019. I served in the Education, Training and Research Committee. I served in Finance and Administration Committee, and I was the Chair of the Human Resource Committee. Chair, I have also done consultancy services, previously for Ministry of Health, in commodity management for Nyamira, Kisi, and Megori County, where I was training all cadres of health on commodity management. Chair, I've also done consultancy, which I'm still engaged in, with a firm called 54 Gene for Research and Discovery Limited that is scheduled to set up one of the biggest genomics laboratory in Kenya, and I'm still consulting for them. Chair, that's the story of my life, but I also need to say that I am married, I'm a mother of two biological children, but I take care of two as a guardian, and many that I take care who live with their parents. Thank you very much, Chair and members.